Welcome to ITS's online training. I'm Pierre Fredriksen from Seven Technologies Denmark, and I'm here to present our SCADA system, ITSS. This is lesson 25, database configuration with ODBC. In ITSS, it's possible to configure an entire project using a standard database, which goes through our ODBC interface. This session will give you an overview of what is ODBC, what is the ITSS ODBC driver, and uh, also you'll find out that uh, some of the functions in ITSS will actually depend on the ODBC server. We've previously heard about the ITSS dashboard, and other functions are also dependent on the ODBC server in ITSS. I'll show you how you configure a project from a database. We'll go into a Microsoft Access database. We will make a link to the ITSS project, and then we can actually configure the objects in the configuration. We will create a new diagram, and we will create a new pump, a new digital object in the configuration. Then we'll go into definition to see that these objects have actually been configured in the database, and we'll put them in. We will uh, make them visible in the ITSS configuration. And then finally, I'll tell you a little about the ODBC database structure, which is very important if you want to configure in the ODBC database. What is ODBC? ODBC means Open Database Connectivity. It is a Microsoft standard, which allows you to communicate from a database with IGSS using uh, the SQL standard query language. We have developed an IGSS ODBC driver, which uh, makes the IGSS project appear as a relational uh, database. So if you open it in Microsoft Access, in, uh, in Microsoft Excel, or in an Oracle database, you can actually see all the objects that we have in our IGSS configuration. So any database supporting SQL can be used for this purpose. Some of the functions in IGSS will actually depend on the ODBC server. In system configuration, we can enable the ODBC server so that it starts up every time, and we should do that, because otherwise functions like IGSS dashboard, object historian in supervise, the embedded graphs that we can use, the report management system RMS, and the snapshot reports will not work if you're not enabling the IGSS ODBC server. Let's see how we configure a project using ODBC. Before we start using uh, ODBC to configure our project, we must close down all running IGSS applications. So in my case, I will click the exit button here to close down the starter and the supervised module and the alarm module. Also, I will close my definition module and I'll close my pump station application. Now everything in IGSS has been closed down and I'm ready to start configuring. The first thing we need to do is to start the IGSS ODBC server, which you'll find in the start menu. Double click once to get it running and double click again to make the small ODBC server window visible. IGSS version 8 ODBC server is now running. Then, in order to get access to all these ODBC tables that hold the project information, we need to start a database program. In my case, I will start Microsoft Access 2007. What I will do now is I will create a blank database which will hold the ODBC information. Blank database, and I will put it in my configuration folder. I'll go to IGSS Configurations, version 8, Demo V8. This is where I'll put my database, and I already have one, as you can see, which is called demo underscore ODBC ACCDB. That's my database name. You can name it freely, but it's a good idea to include ODBC in the name. This is my database. I create it. I have a blank database with nothing in it. Now, the next thing I do is I want to I want to link to the ODBC tables. External data, I click on More, I click on ODBC Database. I want to link. I don't want to make an import. I want to make a direct link to the data source. And then I click OK. 
I go to the machine data source tab and I choose the IGSS version 8 ODBC server. That's the one I want to connect to. I click OK and I get access to all the tables that contain the project information. I can select them all and I can click OK and now my database will link in all these tables. Now if we look at these tables uh, we can see that uh, there are some uh, many different names. Uh, we can see that we have uh, ALM for example, that's the alarm data. We have uh, BCL data. We also have log data of course. We have uh, ANA template and analog. These are analog specific properties that we can manipulate here. But uh, what we want to do as an example is we want to create a diagram in the ODBC database and uh, what we'll do is uh, we'll go in and we'll manipulate a couple of tables. We go to the conf table, double click it. The conf table is the mother of all you can say. It is the table where all objects must exist in order to be real IGSS objects. Now a diagram in IGSS has an object type of 1. So if we go under E type here and create a number filter which equals 1, we will get all the diagrams that we have in our configuration. And in order to create a new diagram, we'll simply press the new record, new blank record button. We don't want to do anything about the OAN, which, which is just an ID, but we want to put in training as the area, and we want to put in ODBC, ODBC as the diagram name, and we want to put in object type 1 to say to IGSS that it is indeed a diagram. We can also put in a description and various other properties, but this is what we require, area, object name and object type, then we have a real object. Let's close this table. Now what happens is that uh, when we have created this diagram in the conf table, there will also be a record in the picture table. The picture table is the table where we have all the diagram properties. Double click picture and uh, you can see that here we have all the type 1 uh, entries and uh, if we look down the list we can sort on ename, sort A to C, then we can find our ODBC diagram, here it is, 1341, that was the ID. We move on and we say this is um, a diagram where we want We want the title bar to appear. That's one property we can change. We want um, we want it to be the initial window, the first one that appears when we start up. Two menu should be one. So all these properties we can now set directly in this database table. When I close this, I have actually defined an entire diagram. Next step, we want to define an object also. To define an object, the easiest way is to go into the superconf table. The superconf table is a table that gives you all the properties necessary to create a standard object in IGSS. Now let's find an object called P1. That's a pump, of course. Here we got the uh, P1. Now in order to create a copy of P1, because that's a real easy way of uh, creating a new object, we just highlight the entire record here, we uh, right click, we click copy, click on the new record button and then we paste. We have a new object, let's call it P8, that's a new object name. We can see that the ID or the OAN remains the same, 291, but that will be changed later on. It is, uh, it is based on pump1, that's our digital template, and then if we move on we can see all the different properties here, like the scan class, the logging, all the functions that you know from the definition module. We can even change the node number of the object here. That's a new object. You have already created a new pump just by copying P1 to P8. Now let's 
close down the entire access database to see what we have actually achieved in the definition module. Close down the database and close down the ODBC server. Let's shut it down because it will be automatically started anyway. Shut down. Let's go back to the start menu and then we start the definition module. And in the definition module, we will go to the training area because that's where we created our new diagram. We go to the diagram menu and look at this. We have a new ODBC diagram in the menu. We click on the ODBC diagram and now we can import the object that we created. Right click, new, and we created a pump. So we'll go to the blowers, compressors and pumps table here. Select it. Bring up the object browser. We want a new object and that object is called P8. There it is. There's our new object. Double click it and we choose the symbol. Let's move down. Let's choose this one. Red for off and green for on. And we'll choose the same symbol, of course, like this. OK, that's it. You have created a diagram and an object using the ODBC interface. Of course, if you know a little about SQL queries, you can make append queries and update queries and all sorts of stuff in the Access database to update many objects in one operation. Now, in the database, we're not able to see the relationships between the tables, but uh, don't worry because we have made a presentation uh, which you can download from the same page where you're viewing this video, uh, where we present the entire database structure. And of course, it is also included in the help file.